Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Friday. I hope everyone is doing good. You know what? This week things were tough actually in the market because the market was seriously very, very volatile. And you know what? You can easily see that uh, that it's not easy to make money when the market is doing something like that. But but even if things are like that, you just need to to make sure that you apply your risk management you are not forced uh, you are not forced to trade when things are not going well i hope you see that so without wasting your time it's friday i know you're gonna enjoy your friday so what we're gonna do here is uh, i'm just going to show you uh, if you want to be part of the team uh, remember this is a, a, a july by the way it's a new month uh, it means that special that we had before it's actually done by now uh, because the information that i share here guys is way way too valuable so if you want to be part of the team you know what to do you can just whatsapp me or telegram me and then you can be part of the team simple as that so without wasting your time we have to just go straight to the chart i can see i see it's a bitcoin there why did i use four hours time frame because this moves they are like seriously like you can see they are very bigger so if i zoom that uh, actually if i zoom if i zoom in obviously you will see that uh the market yeah i mean sorry if i zoom out actually you will see that uh, the market is like creating this crazy moves you can see this lower candlesticks, this here, that it fills my screen very quickly. So, but the, uh, the, the thing that I like here is, yes, we can easily see that the market it is on that bearish move. Things are like crashing. The market is crashing, especially on this Bitcoin thing. So let's zoom a little bit closer. Let's zoom. Oh, yo, yo, you can see that. You can see that. So yesterday, actually, things were seriously like crazy. You can see that we had some spiking moves. I also see that on other markets. So things were not really uh, nice. So you can see the market actually reached 18,000. Now the market is back on uh, 19,500. But you can see that things are not actually very well in the market. But maybe the recovery is very close. We don't know. Maybe the recovery is very close. We just need to, to see what's really happening. You can see we have some spiking moves here. This candlestick, it was very crazy. And another one which the market started to go down again. So what does this mean? Actually, it means stay out of the market for now. Or because we don't really know if maybe the market is trying to retest, but you can see if it is a retest, the market went up again. Now the market is back again here. So it means we don't know if maybe the market will keep pushing lower. But for me, uh, on my side, I can say if maybe you trade in Bitcoin uh, and if maybe you want to sell it, wait for it to go below that area and you can say, yes, I will sell. If maybe it's time for you, you think maybe you want to buy, I can say wait for the market uh, to break this area before you do it, before you go up. Simple as that. Don't, 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 don't just jump on the market or else uh, things not going to be nice on your side. You see? So let's push the next one. Let's push. Voila, it's still pushing to the next one, guys. Please, please, please smash that subscribe button like share with your friends smash that subscribe button so yes the uh, actually yesterday the market was seriously selling the market was seriously selling so what's really happening now is we see that yes the market is going uh, actually before that uh, we can see that the market is actually on a very nice downtrend we were able to draw that very nice you can see that the market was respecting that now actually yesterday you see that the market pushed lower let me zoom that the market pushed lower very nicely and created an area. You can see this area. Now the market came back again, reached that area. Now it's running away. I know some of you will be waiting and say, I need to trade that. Relax, relax. It's still early. Uh, we're still on a downtrend. You don't really have to buy this thing. You don't really have to buy because uh, anything can still happen. The market can still push lower. So around this area, it's going to be our area where we think maybe the market will come and respect so you see that the market might come you see already the market came there the market might come here again and 
create some sort of consolidation move maybe before doing what before selling off again as we are on a downtrend yes there is a possibility for the market to break that and push the upside but we will see that the market is moving uh, uh towards that aggressively so we will wait and see we will wait and see but things they are not actually looking good in the market so this friday like this i'm not going to even entertain anything i'm just going to stay out of the market and do other things because it's been tough it's been tough the market is even if you know what you're doing this consolidation uh, i mean this uh, volatility sometimes can take you out easily it can just take you out easily. You can see that we had some serious volatility around this area. That's why even in the group, I didn't. I think I did not send enough signals because I knew that people, they were going to lose. People, they were going to lose. And I understand that I did not send much. So uh, we are on gold, by the way. Gold was giving us a very nice structure. You can see a very, 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 very nice structure which we call a downtrend by the way so that's why we're looking for sell and even now if you still remember i did point out this area and say you see this area it might be an area which the market might focus on and yes the market did come there bounce back and came back again and we see the market breaking out of that so what we can do here is we can wait for a small rejection before we see the market can go a bit lower because obviously we are on a downtrend i'm expecting a stronger sell again i'm expecting a stronger sell so a small rejection here will be very nice then we can go lower again simple as that so we don't really have to complicate this uh, things so whatever that we see there i think it's quite quite straightforward what uh, what, what's really happening actually on us oil as we are on us oil please guys don't don't forget to smash that subscribe button don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Mm, what's really happening here? Uh, we can easily see that, yes, the market was very oh, on, on a very nice bullish move and it's still on a very nice bullish move. So let's go closer there. Uh, around that area, the market actually created a very nice move trying to push the upside. Guess what? The market did break that. The market did break that. And we saw aggressive move. You can see these moves that we see all over. They were happening all over the past that we trade. You see, you can see that we have this crazy uh, spiking uh, candlesticks, which happened actually uh, early today and some actually uh, yesterday before the market closed. So which was crazy, by the way. But what can you do? There's nothing we can do. But what I love is the market is back again. On that support area so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have a nice buy pending order there if the market is uh, seriously going to respect this area we will see the market pushing up and maybe we can make some profits uh, uh, around that area you see we can have something like that that might be far too long but it depends it depends on uh, what will happen you can take your profits very early or something like that but I'm expecting maybe the market to respect this area or maybe the market is deciding maybe to push lower. That is also something that we actually want because things are expensive. Inflation is very high. That's why we see things very expensive. You see. So let's move to the next one, which is uh, US 30, US 30. Let me remove this so that you can see this nicely. So on US 30, as you can see, this was an is actually still on on a downtrend the market is still actually on an like 90 percent sell so what's really happening here is we can go closer and try to see what's really happening around that area uh, around that area you can see that yes the market was creating this nice structure you can see that and we did rely on this structure you can see that so but the market did break that if you still remember yesterday uh, on our early, I mean daily analysis early in the morning, I did talk about the market might come back and retest there. And exactly that happened. And after the market did sell off. But along the way, there were some sort of rejections, guys. I, we did also send the, I did also send the sell signal in the group. But I saw that there was some crazy, let me just go on an hour, some crazy rejections. And I think some maybe there might be two, uh, the, the, maybe took some losses with uh, around that area but 
Uh, honestly speaking, guys, let's try to minimize. Uh, if maybe we're losing, let's not over trade. If you lost today, relax. Still, tomorrow is still another day. Or you can just wait a uh, nice for maybe for next week. You see, you can just wait for that. Why? We just try to minimize the losses. You see, we do take the losses, which is fine or which is part of the team. But we just need to uh, lose a certain amount, not everything, you see. So what's really happening here is, yes, we did see uh, the market going up and down. Then after we see the market reached this area, uh, you can see this is a previous uh, low that we have actually, that we had. And now the market is back again around that area and is trying to buy again. But I'm not going to fall for that because we can easily see that, no, the market is actually on a downtrend and which means we should look for what we should look for sell position so this thing can create something like that and move in that area if maybe i remove this once here if i shorten this or let me just remove this if it's something like that you can see that yes there is a something like that that might happen so there's a chance for the market to they keep going down like that so there is a possibility for the market to go down but uh that's why i'm not going to entertain this area i already see this area and i already have something like that which means there is a chance for the market to start ranging before maybe keeping like like seriously going down but we will see the market has to give us that structure so actually now i don't have much uh on on us 30 i don't have really much to say i can't say we're gonna sell or something i think we can sell only if i see a breakout here then i can sell from that area but when the market is going up i will i will wait for a nice rise to happen before i start to act and do something uh something that maybe before i take any uh, decision you see so we are on nasdaq we are on nasdaq Things were like seriously very volatile. I'm talking about yesterday. So what's really happening here is I don't really have to force this one here. I will just let me just remove that. We can easily see that yes, the market is actually on a downtrend. If you go on a higher time frame, you will also see that yes, the market is still uh, actually going down, 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 and that is something that should help you to see that yes. Actually, the market is actually on a downtrend. Even if maybe you can, you can just see that this that this thing is going down like this. Even if that is not really perfect, but you can see that yes, the market is actually going down. For us to say, let's go closer and see. Now, what I have here, or the last hope that I have for the support area, uh, is this here. Actually, is this area here. I think, I don't know, I think maybe the market might reach that area, maybe and respect that area before pushing up. I think the market might create something like this, reach this area maybe because that is the lowest level that we have currently. Then maybe the market will try to push up similar to this area here. Yes, there is a chance for the market to do what? To keep going lower and lower. Up to where I really don't know. It might reach 10,000, 9,000. Anyway, the market can reach any area. The market can reach anyway. So we don't really have to guess. We just really have to follow the structure. Simple as that. If we follow the structure, our job becomes way, way too easier. So the reason I don't go live, guys, actually this week, we have some load shadings. We have the power cut off here. Mostly it's around 12. So it's around 2 to six so around that time of hours where we're supposed to go live the power is almost uh, went uh, it's off most of the time you see and that is not really good or if maybe it's not mostly it's uh, 20 minutes after that the power will be off so there's no point trying to go on the market 20 minutes later the market will be off so maybe next week things will be back to normal i hope you understand that apologies on that but already i'm on a process of buying my own bigger cpu i mean ups where i can able to connect the the, the whole house so that uh, when the power is off i can able uh, to continue with whatever that i want to do actually uh, connecting all these different screens and stuff like that so 
I hope you understand that. Uh, for those who wants to be part of the team, it's a, it's a new month. It's it's your time to learn this. And it's your time to learn. You can see that if you want to be part of the team, just WhatsApp me, Telegram me if you want to be, if you want to start to eat. Then thank you very much. This is Kenzo. I, I hope you're going to have a very, very great Friday and a winning streak uh, actually for the whole year. Thank you very much. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Bye.